Hey girlfriend, we're going to, uh, it's a Hennessy event, so I'm a little bit more dressed up. I'll give you some pictures at the venue. Um, I'm feeling good today, so we'll see what happens. You know you always have to ride and not drive and take that Uber. I'm a little nervous, but it's gonna be fun. Okay, I made it here. I might be overdressed, but I don't care because I look good. <laughs> I feel good. I look good. I'm glossing. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know if I'm going to take too much footage for you guys, but um, we'll see. Don't ever change for anybody. Don't ever trade your soul. Don't even listen to him. He don't know nothing at all. Try not to get too involved. But really, it's breaking my heart. How you keep changing for him. Never forget who you are. Butterfly, you butterfly, butterfly, wing spread, just let it fly. Butterfly, butterfly, what is life without brightness? Be a light. You were never quiet, never so shy. Now you're so serious all of the time. Show me that smile, it's not too late to reinvent yourself. Bust out your cocoon, spray on your perfume, and go enjoy your new point of view. There's no way you can lose, the world works for you. Now that you're a f Don't ever change for anybody, don't ever trade your soul. Don't even listen to him, he don't know nothing at all. Try not to get too involved, but really it's breaking my heart. How you keep changing for him, never forget who you are. Okay, so I love this event. This is what I'm talking about. Everybody's real um, dressed up for New Orleans, and I like that they have like that funky artist uh, vibe. This is called, I will put the link down below, but it's called Jack Daniels Art something, but <laughs> I'll put the link down below. I'll probably, I like this. This is, um, this is a nice vibe. They have a lot of good things. During the Essence Fest, they will have so many events just like this. This is in, it's called 900 Camp Street. They have a lot of uh, really good art here. That's one thing about New Orleans. They have a lot of food, always. The drink is good. some kind of way because I went out last night and it was a really good event I got a little bit of footage um, you'll see the video I'm gonna put the video out today I went out to it was a B and L it's called um, art beats and lyric and uh, it was a, a Jack Daniels Jack Daniels event and it was at the um, Cultural Arts Center in New Orleans um, downtown on uh, 900 camp great space It's a it's like a, a Incubator office in one part of it and then there's a like a event space in the back and we were in a huge event space urban art um, Everyone was you know dressed up, you know really nice and they you know for New Orleans because they dress so casual here It was nice to see everybody was dressed up and they're you know fashionable fashionable you know, so I got to see lots of fashion, lots of colors. 
Um, you know, my, my favorite thing is just looking at people. So, and the age group, I'm going to say anywhere from like 25 to maybe about 40 and I'm over 40. And so I went, you know, I was feeling good. And this time I said, usually in New Orleans, I don't wear, um, I don't wear a lot of heels because a lot of times I'm walking or I know that I'm going to go from one place to the other and I ended up. You know, and here I noticed they don't wear, you know, high heels that much. So then I, you know, just said, hey, I'm not going to do it. But last night I got up, dressed up. I wore this dress I couldn't usually get into. And it was like a tight, you know, the, uh, what is it called? Like the bodycon kind of tighter dresses, blue, look really pretty. Uh, I, I even wore uh, different hair. I had a, like a straight little bob. Um, and I'm not trying to impress nobody. I was just trying to impress myself because I was feeling good and I had been in a little bit of a funk, even though I do these videos all the time. The last video I did was at uh, Four Seasons Chandelier Bar. Go check that video out. And oh yeah, make sure you like and subscribe to this uh, channel. We will be doing so much more with this channel. And uh, But I want to get back to the story. But so... I got you know, got all dressed up. I was feeling really good. Went out with um, one of my um, uh, f uh, friends. She loves go out, so she invited me. And so, I, I don't know. I just was feeling like um, I feel like the guys. I just don't. I don't know. I just don't meet the what kind of guys I want to meet. There was a guy she introduced me to, and I think I, I'm feeling like, am I too old? Is it, is it because I'm too old or is it because the guys are just not coming in a little closer um is it too am I too old or is it the guys are just not talking to the um women like they used to I meet people I don't feel the same from them sometimes or um you know when you're with your tribe you feel a certain way and you feel comfortable and so there I wanted to feel comfortable, but then everybody was dressed funky, and I usually dress, I used to dress more um, funkier and out the box, like I'd have bright colors on, or I'd have, you know, some funky glasses on, or something like that. I'm like that, but I change it up, you know, and so I don't, I'm over 40, I don't need to fit in, so I felt cool, but then again, it was like, I was like, well, how come the guys aren't talking to me? And how come this or that? There was one guy that I was, um, you know, we were dancing and everything uh, because their music was on and I'm just dancing kind of by myself and stuff. And so then the, there was a guy, he approached me, but um, I was being a little snobbish, which is good. And I, I would give, you know, that that's a good tip for people is just like, don't always just take the first invitation. I mean, how do you not feel rejected? I <laughs> feel rejected today. How do you not feel rejection? Um, it's hard. I feel like I'm just old and not worthy. Not even worthy. I feel old and not. I used to be the shit. You know, when I walked, when I went somewhere and I was wearing that and I felt good. I would get guys talking to me like, oh, you know how it is. You just walk in like every five guys is talking to you. Or every time I walk, some this guy's saying something or this guy's touching me or this guy's saying something to me. Um, I noticed when I did footage of the event, when I look back at the event, then I could see a guy looking at me like there's this one guy. He's look, looking like, hmm, she looks good. But he didn't. He did say hi. And that's all he said to me. And I thought I came here because men here are more aggressive. They're Southern. They say what they want. If they like you, they like you. When I first came, it was um, in 2000. When I first came to New Orleans in 2017, then, um, you know, I, I, I got numbers. I always did. Um, then 2018, I came. 2019, man, I was getting a numbers. I get two numbers a day. This is just walking around doing normal stuff, or when, even when I, if I went out anywhere, constantly. And now I don't know if it's just me. If I change, maybe it's me that's changed. But I don't know. I just so yesterday, my friend she introduced me to a guy, and I don't even know. I'm gonna say maybe he's 40, 41, something like that. 
So, gosh, I was excited because she's like, hey, Carolyn, I found you. I'm going to introduce you to this guy because she had met this guy maybe about like six months ago, this other guy that was a friend of the, the guys. So then she introduces me to him, you know, makes a big deal and says, hey, you know, this is Carolyn. I forgot his name, too. I got introduced, but I forgot his name. So then we kind of just started talking. And I'm, you know, I'm pretty aggressive, so I'll just usually ask some questions. So I asked him a few questions and... Um, I think he asked me, he just asked me, see, I'm just like immediately just started because I was excited. I think he said, oh, he goes, what's your name? And I said, my name's Carolyn. He said, oh, that's my mom's name. And I said, that's a good name. And I said, yeah, usually good. You know, he said, Carolyn's are usually good people. I said, they are. And then I said, I said, I said something like, I am light. You know, I'm like, yeah, I know I'm light. And then, so then from there, um, I think I just asked him. I forgot if I asked him, does he live here? He just said, oh, I'm from Mississippi. So that's all we said to each other. He was from Mississippi. I don't think he asked me if I was from Seattle. And then I kind of just tuned out because I could just tell he wasn't really interested in me. And then I think um, we talked about Mississippi. Then I think I talked about the guy. I think I talked to the guy next to me. I'm trying to redo this so I could see what happened. I talked to the guy next to me and I asked him, I said, oh, you were here. And then I kind of moved away from the guy. And then I think I talked, I said something to my friend. And um, then the guy didn't ask me any questions or anything. And then he goes, oh yeah, I saw you in your blue dress. But he didn't say, you look good in your blue dress. Oh, I saw you walking in your blue dress. You look good. None of that. I just wasn't feeling the vibe like he thought I was really cute. Um, and I didn't want to be all in his face. I'm not that kind of girl that's all in somebody's face. So I just wasn't feeling like, mm -hmm. I just wasn't feeling it. So that kind of set me off and you know, it didn't fuck up my night, but I just was like, Hmm. So then I think we just, I don't know. I just, with me, I don't just stand there. And sometimes I feel like maybe I could just stand there and why am I doing this video? I don't even know. Like, well, anyway. I feel like, uh, yeah.